Alright, so you have an iPhone 5. It runs iOS 10, it runs great, but what if you want iOS 8 on your iPhone 5? Well, today in this video, I will show you how to downgrade an iPhone 5 from iOS 10 to iOS 8. Well, let me show you. Alright, first you need a Mac, Lightning to USB A cable. Do not use Lightning to USB C cable as it won't work. USB C dongle or a USB C hub, and obviously the iPhone 5. And let's hop on a Mac. Alright, first you need to go to your favorite web browser or any web browser that you have on your Mac, like Safari, Chrome, whatever. But in my case, I like to use Chrome because I like to use Chrome. And you need to Google Leap Down and see this thing the first thing it will show up i will link this in the description below and what you're gonna do is go to release right here and scroll down choose this leak down whatever number that's on it dot dmg and you click that and it will download so it will download here other than this that you need to download you need to go to this website which is called ipsw.me which you know you're gonna need the ios 8 file to downgrade so once you're here hit iphone and you scroll down and you can see right here there's iphone 5 go blow and gsm well most of the iphone 5 are go blow and there's some are gsm if you have no idea which is your phone hit identify my device and scroll down and put the model number that your iPhone 5 have. It will be at the back of the phone. In my case, it's A1428, which it will direct to, let's see, the iPhone 5 GSM. And once you do this part, you scroll down and scroll down to 8.4.1 and you click download. If you click download, it does not work. Um, copy this link right here. Um, open new tab and copy a link and it will start downloading right here and this IPSW basically it's downloading from Apple server so don't worry there's nothing bad about this one so yeah we're just gonna wait this one to download all right as you can see it's done downloading so here's what you're gonna do next what you need to do next which is go to your download folder which usually it will be on your finder and it will be right here and open this so what you need to do is you take this and then you drag into application and if you go to application and it should be right here or like in few seconds later it would be in launchpad which you can see right here and we got an error which is lead down is an app downloaded from the internet are you sure you want to open it hit open so you can see right here lead down there you go right here and i will show you the next step okay so you can see i have lead down running in the background and here's my iphone 5 which you guys can see right here it's the iphone 5 in slate mm -hmm. everyone's favorite color right here and the one that i have is the let's go to general and about and it's the 64 gigabyte model 10.3.4 right here you can see sleek black so what you need is a lightning to USB A type cable instead of the USB C. If you're using the USB C, this won't work. And you also need a USB C dongle, or in my case, I'm I'm just gonna use a hub, so you need to plug it in. You don't need a USB C dongle or a hub if your Mac has a USB port. Just plug it in and plug your iPhone 5 in. Okay, you can see my iPhone 5 right here is on my desk because for some reason the home button keep acting weird and it refuses to boot to DFU mode which I have no idea why but if your home button works flawlessly it should be not a big issue so what you need to do is you need to hold the home button and the power button for a few seconds when the screen turns black let go the power button and keep holding the home button I gotta do this so 3, 2, 1 Keep holding it and let go. Just keep holding. Hopefully this works. And there we go. It works. Leap down detects it. So select this and if you did not download the IPSW yet, click download an IPSW. Or if you already have it, um, browse for an IPSW. So click this. And you can see right here, it default to download folder. Make sure it's in downloads folder. If you 
put it somewhere else and you try this, you will get an error. So hit open. It's checking the IPSW and yeah, it's successfully verified IPSW. So hit downgrade. Warning, um, this will erase all your stuff. Hit OK. Exploit device. And exploit success. Up uploading thingy and here it says back up your blob. Would you like so SHSH blobs? Um, you can either say yes or skip, but I'm just gonna skip anyway. So you can see it's restoring. So this is the phone right here. It's just like literally nothing right now. So yes, yeah, basically restoring. And you can see a few seconds later, it shows the Apple logo, and it's still doing its thing. And you can see this the stuff, all the codes and stuff. Doing its job and now it's restoring. You can see the progress bar right here, and yeah, see it works. We just need to wait this thing to be restored. There we go. So basically, you can set this thing up like a brand new phone, it's which is quite easy, and you can see right here. So you just swipe and choose whatever language you want. So if you get this pop-out because your SIM card thingy, um, just hit try again. And there we go, it works. So just continue your setup. And welcome to iPhone. And there we go, it works. So you can see right here, go to settings, general, and about. You can see right here, this is 8.4.1. So you can see the old control center. And would you look at that, slide to unlock. And the old camera app font right here, which cool, cool. Also, one more thing, um, Siri, um, on iOS. Oops, I seem to have lost my internet connection. So on iOS 8, um, Siri no longer works and the lowest version of iOS that Siri still works which is iOS 9. So yeah, you can see right here iOS 8 and yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching and bye.